have you ever missed a shot or not taken a shot because it was too dark? Hopefully your answer is no, you have not, because Trigicon offers a wonderful product that allows low light target acquisition. So whether you're doing home defense, hunting, or anything that you want to do with target shooting, Trigicon has a product that offers. We do. Now what does 2009 offer for you? Well, this year we're pretty excited to be bringing uh, to our AccuPoint line two new scopes. Uh, the first is a, a true one power scope. It's our 1 4 by 24. Its uh, primary applications for dangerous game hunting. Uh, there's also technic or, uh, tactical applications uh, with this scope. It is a 30 millimeter tube. It has many, many mounting options given the length and the, uh, the availability of uh, uh, many of the ring options available for mounting. Uh, lots of light gathering capabilities carrying the same uh, dual illumination technology that we have with the rest of our AccuPoint line with the uh, tritium and fiber optic technology. Fast acquisition. This is the scope you're looking for. And now I'm holding another one that looks somewhat similar, but you know, there's this little trigger switch. There's a little switch here. Now, now tell me about this one. Well, it's, uh, this is uh, the big boy that we've come out with. If you're looking to reach out and touch something, this is the scope. This is our uh, 520 by 50. It's our biggest, baddest scope yet. Uh, it really uh, complements the line that we already have out in the market. Uh, this uh, scope is uh, perfect for uh, varmint hunting. It's also perfect for, um, for uh, law enforcement uh, applications for snipers. We have uh, incorporated uh, finger touch turret style adjusters for windage and elevation. We also have a parallax adjuster uh, on this particular unit given that we're so looking at uh, things so far out. Lots of light gathering capabilities. Still, again, the uh, fiber optic te technology of our AccuPoint line is built into this with the tritium and the, uh, the fiber optic light gathering capabilities. So, uh, big bad scope. I mean, if, if you're serious about going out and finding something that's a long way off, this is the scope. What else does Trigicon have to offer for 2009 here? I well, mean, I've heard there's some, some good technology going on, maybe some thermal imaging. I mean, that's, that's kind of a big thing right now. That's been quite a buzz at our booth uh, in the last couple of days. Uh, we have partnered with FLIR Corporation uh, out of Oregon to uh, introduce a uh, advanced thermal weapons uh, site. Uh, we've got that at the booth. Uh, we're really, really excited. I think that's the buzz of the show for us right now. Uh, we do have uh, FLIR representation here. It is a very technically uh, oriented unit, and uh, I would be happy to uh, introduce you to one of our members of the FLIR team to tell you a little bit more about that. Very good. Well, let's go off and do that. Okay. All right. I'm here with Noel Dolove from FLIR. Now, FLIR stands for Forward Looking Infrared. Now, I mean, Forward Looking Infrared, we're here with scopes. What does infrared have to do with scopes? Well, scopes are mostly used for daylight, and uh, by putting an infrared camera in front of a daylight scope, you've now made this uh, nighttime. Uh, weapon, if you will. Uh, you can see things in the dark, which is a real advantage for a lot of military customers, yeah. law enforcement, those kind of people. What are some of the features of this? I mean, infrared, so you can see things at night, clearly. Well, You'll you be see, able to see a nice heat signature. Mm -hmm. what, what's the different features? The, well, one thing is it's using an uncooled microbolometer, so it's very small, very light, very low power. It's infrared rather than a uh, uh, intensifier, a light intensifier. It's not like night vision goggles. If this room were completely black, you would still see everybody just the same as you are with the lights on. So it, it's detecting heat signatures, and it'll detect temperatures as small as one-tenth of a degree. And th is this available in the market right now? Well, it's just coming out. It's being debuted here at SHOT, and it's uh, going into production almost immediately. And how's the response from it? Well, everybody's blown away by it. Uh, most people who are coming here to SHOT are used to looking through day optics. This is the first time a lot of them have seen in infrared, and they're very excited. They really like it, and they want one for themselves. Well, with predator, you know, predator hunting being such a huge market right now, uh, personal defense, boy, I mean, who wouldn't want this on their gun? Yeah, exactly. Noel, thank you very much for joining me sure today. Sure thing. Look forward to seeing this on the shelves. Okay. <laughs>